everybody welcome back to the channel uh, and today's video we are going to install quote unquote install the center console for the Bronco that I talked about in my last video if you have not seen that video you should check that out as well in the meantime what you got going on here is we're actually spending a little bit of time in the interior of the Bronco and I haven't put a whole lot of time into the interior other than seeing the steering column and steering wheel, of course. And then I have the Hearst shifter here, nothing too fancy. Um, it seems like it's in a weird position, but when you're actually driving it, your hands naturally sit like this. So it's almost like holding a briefcase when I'm shifting, believe it or not. I used to have it like this, but I had to always turn my, my arm to shift. So it naturally wanted to be in that position. So it just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, it works. Curious on what you guys do with your shifters. That sounded weird, but <laughs> um, PG, PG. Okay, uh, comment down below. I'm kind of curious. Do you actually have your shifter? A little, you know, rant about this you know if you have yours turned or which way you have yours or if you just have like a little ball on top of yours thought about doing that in the past and uh eventually going to put something on this one here for the the transfer case so but don't have that yet and then um i'm kind of curious on what you guys think i am undecided and maybe you guys will actually play a little bit of a role in what happens here I do have the gauge. The gauge does work, mostly. Um, doesn't seem to have too much of a problem. And then I have the center part here. I really want to uh, weld this up. I have not done it and have looked at this disgusting part of my dash for quite a while now. But um, yeah, it's one of those things where I thought about mounting gauges. I don't know if I want to have uh, put a little, you know, like two little hinges here and then have it be able to drop down and then have it lock on top and then have all the gauges on it and then um, weld up that side. I don't know. Or I might just close this off, have it just nice and clean as another option and just keep the circle over there and eventually upgrade it to maybe a Dakota digital display or something um, because I want to have a little more control over um, what my Bronco is doing and that gauge doesn't really do enough for me so and then um, as far as for going back to the center console and yes we have a vehicle going by sorry um, but as far as for the center console I am installing it but it's more like I am putting it in than installing it because I don't want to hard mount it yet and for the reason for that is, is this. This is very awful and ugly and it's gonna take some time. I did like a little test here in this little patch. Uh, you can see how it's nice and shiny. Uh, I wanted to see how hard it was gonna be to get this uh, liner off of this and see how bad the metal was underneath. But I do have some decent amount of work on this floor. I also need to remount these seats. And when I remount them, I mean like remove them and put in new seats because I want to go with a premium set. Maybe the Tom's Bronco parts uh, premium seats. If you uh, have them or, you know, have opinion on them, feel free to leave a comment on if you like them or not. Um, I've seen those premium seats with the center console we're going to put in here. And, uh, and it fits, so that's good. Um, so therefore I'm not going to bolt it down for now, but just put it in here and see how it works and uh, hope it fits between these seat belts. Otherwise I'm going to have to be sad for a while, but let me show you how difficult this one is to remove because it, it is a little complicated. You really have to struggle with it. You know, you got to be really, really careful because you know, you don't want to hurt your back like I did. Not on this, but for other reasons. Luckily, over the last nine, almost 10 years that I've had this in here, no one has done an uninstall for me, which they could have and taken everything in there, including my little hook and stuff and a few other things. Well, 
not the keys, the keys are usually with me. <laughs> but yeah, that this was very difficult. You might have to rewind, rewatch, and see how I un uninstalled this. Um, no, I'm just messing, of course, but uh, yeah. You know what? If you don't have a console at all, I think I bought this for like 25 bucks, you know, and I had it for nine years. I got my money's worth. And these cup holders, this video is not about this console, but I am actually impressed on how long this thing lasted. So, hey, you know what? If you don't have a lot of money, you just want to pick up something, you know, you get something like this at like AutoZone or something like that. Really cheap, and it, and it does a job. Kept my cell phone here, had my drinks here. I think I've had maybe a handful of spills <laughs> over the nine years, but very little. So yeah, anyways, so whoop, uninstalled. Anyways, so there's that. Don't go anywhere. You can watch me from there, maybe. Hi, I'm still here. Okay, so. By the way, it feels really good to be back. I'm excited to be here with you guys. In a sort of speak, you're over there. I'm over here, but that's okay. Look what I got, it's right here. Like I said in my last video, my back hasn't been the greatest, so bear with me a sec. I'm flexing. No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this in here. It's gonna be a really hard install. Might have to rewind a few times. Oh. pretty tough no in all honesty I think I know don't go anywhere I'll keep talking though so I think I figured out maybe a couple things just from taking this in here oh you spying on me I see you spying on me all right so does come with bolts that'll make a big difference I think this is maybe I don't want to get too close and out of focus but um, I think this may go on the bottom of the uh, center console to help with this. Oh, now it doesn't move. But uh, <laughs> there we go, there. See, if I push in that corner, it wants to tilt. So um, I have a little bit of a gap underneath here. Um, if I push it back, then I'm not really benefiting from the armrest. And I guess it's good for you guys to see this. I am not sure why it would teeter exactly. Let's see, let's lift it, let's lift it up, let's see. You know what? I don't know. Yep, dirt. Yeah, Bronco, get dirty. Who would have thought? Um, you know what I think it might be? It could be. I don't know if it's gonna get out of focus when she's doing this, but uh, can you see this at all on your screen? Yeah. Uh, maybe hitting this, cause I know it's super close in between these. I could always loosen these, rotate the base maybe a little bit. Um, might be hitting that. You can see how it's already scratching the bottom. Um, this is where the cables come out for the stereo. Um, so, yep. And then for me, I'm not gonna have carpet in here or anything, so I might have to go right from here through the floor and then wire loom up underneath or something. Um, Cause I don't want to have wiring going up through here. So I'll have to figure it out and then put a couple speakers in here. Nothing fancy, definitely nothing fancy. But in the meantime, yeah, I think that's what it's hitting. Or it's, oh, you know what? Actually, I lied. Not a true lie, but you know. Now I figured out what it is. It's, it is actually hitting these bolts here and here. So depending on how you have your seat belts mounted, it may hit these on yours. So I might have to just do a little bit of an, like do some washers or something before bolting it down um, so that it sits more flush. But in the meantime, I could slide it forward onto this plate here. Like I said, I'm not mounting it right now. If I slide it forward on this, it seems to stay pretty still. All right, well. Oh, got 
pull up my pants. Don't want to share nothing with you. I'm going to get in and see. Oh, I've been sat in this a little bit because of the weather. Hey. Well, there you go. I would like it a little further forward, honestly, as far as for an armrest and, you know, but I understand, you know, you have all this stuff going on. Definitely want to make sure you have access to your phone where you'd have your phone and your drinks, obviously. But you have to kind of reach back a little, little bit here and a handle would be nice right here. I might even have to customize this or something so you can lift this up because you're going to want to lift it up in order to be able to get to your stereo and then you can lower this back down of course and leave your stereo open um, so you could access it because I don't think you can oh well you know that's nice so this way once I get the stereo going I could close this so if weather kind of gets ugly or whatever I can oh looks like there's a a little bit of padding right here. Might need to trim it just a little bit. See, it's kind of sticking up, a little high. There goes the focusing, I didn't do it. Yeah, it needs to be, Oop. there you go. Now you know what it does when you pull on it. Maybe I'll just take the knife and cut it a little bit. Maybe redo it, pull it off and redo it, make my own. Yeah, see, it's just coming up pretty easy, but, um, yeah, so yours might be this way too. There's just an ups on their end. No, it's not a huge deal. Um, hey, look, I'm I'm actually doing work on the Bronco. Don't tell people. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there, I'll just do a little little adjustment. There, that's good for now. Hey, there we go. That's better. So. Yeah, there's a couple corks and screws that could use a little bit of an adjustment. Handle would be nice. Wish the armrest was farther forward. I can't put my seats back any farther because, you know, I want to be able to reach my pedals and stuff. Oh no, it's adjusting! Oh. Once again, if you happen to... Actually, I think I said it in my last video, but if you happen to know about the auto adjusts, I have it to where it's not supposed to do it all the time, but sometimes it does it and then it gets picked up by the mic. And so I'm not sure how to get rid of that, so sorry. Um, well, you know what? I'm tired. Got I got this installed. Um, like I said, don't tell any thieves that it's not bolted down, although it is definitely heavier than my other one and it stayed in here for a long time. So um, that's about it for this video. If you've made it this far, I am happy <laughs> that you made it this far and have looked at this mug this whole time. Or if you fast forward, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, weather's not too shabby. I think my daughter and I are going to take this beast out. Bruiser, if you didn't know the name of my Bronco is Bruiser because it's black and blue and broken all over. <laughs> so uh, take Bruiser out for maybe a small drive, bundle up, um, and start it up. It says I've been starting a little bit. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. And, and uh, thank you for watching. And it's good to be back behind the camera or in front of the camera. Um, until next time, take care, guys.